Good evening, YouTube. This is JG Ramos, Mr. Money and Life again. Never marketing advocate, advocate and adventurer. All right. So, well, welcome to Random Thoughts, episode five. Now, before we, well, before we start with the usual business of uh, reporting. Okay, this is what this is actually. Well, first and foremost, for those who don't. Uh, we're not familiar with this show. This is the show where I promote my uh, my best posts and shares for the past week, and of course promote the latest blog post, my latest blog post. Okay. So before we get down to business, I'd like to uh, I'd like to do this. I'd like to do the usual thing of well, making you hit subscribe and the bell. Okay, uh, anywhere. So it might be if you're on mobile. We'd probably see it below this video, or if you're uh, if you're from if you're viewing YouTube from a web browser, you would hit it right there. It's on the right of this. Okay, hit subscribe and the bell for uh, for the latest for the for my latest videos, and of course, well, to keep abreast of uh, what's hap what's happening with what's happening with my channel. Okay, so uh, let's get down to business. Recently. My Instagram account has reached a milestone. Okay, I'm very, uh, I'm very proud of this. Although you, you may find it mediocre, but for me, this is a milestone. Okay, <clears throat> my Instagram account has just reached 200 followers. Okay, as it has just hit the 200 follower mark, probably as of uh, two or three days ago. Okay, that's how, that's how, uh, that's how early it has been. I started becoming, I started. Uh, coming active on Instagram probably November because I saw a need of well uh, illustrating what my advocacy is which is well uh, which is network marketing through personal branding of course and of course eh, uh, waging a uh, waging a sort of war against everything salesy and spammy <laughs> so after uh, well after November, December, January. Okay, this is February, right? This is February. It's reached 200 plus followers as of three days ago. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, it's every inst it's every Instagrammer's uh, goal to reach 10,000 followers. You want to know why? Because if you hit 10,000 followers, you can now do stories with links, the swipe up thing. Yeah. You can see uh, the accounts of uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, even Catriona Gray has that has that ability now to uh, to make Instagram stories that which, which which she can put links there. Just swipe up the swipe up thing. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm very excited. <laughs> Two hundred followers. Now I did not. Now for the record, I did not buy followers or likes. Okay, I did it organically by well. Uh, liking liking other people's posts and of course commenting and okay I I added a little twist to my uh, to my Instagram manage to my Instagram following management whenever there's a new follower I would uh, give them a thank give them a thank you comment anywhere uh, on, on any on practically any post actually any post that I uh, any post that I actually like from from their account so I would uh, uh, I would post a thank you comment and the responses the responses have been positive of course <laughs> the attitude of gratitude right it's, it's amazing the attitude of gratitude so um, again Instagram my Instagram has reached 200 followers and I hope if you haven't followed me on Instagram you would do it right now okay I'm gonna leave a link I'm going to leave a link to or my username instantly my Instagram username I'm going to leave it in the description okay you wait you uh, you wait for that now uh, there's another oh the usual there's another share that I have well there's another new share that I have posted this week it's called five foods that can spike your blood pressure and it had the most uh, it was the most engaged post on F on uh, FB we Filipinos call it FB but everyone else calls it Facebook okay we it's it's the most engaged uh, share of mine on my Facebook page so again I'm going to leave I'm going to leave 
a link of the exact post I did on my Facebook page. Okay? Link in the description. Now, what does this uh, article say? Well, basically, it's... Uh, basically says that there are, there are five specific foods that you should avoid if you don't want your blood pressure to to suddenly jump okay there are there are foods there are foods that there are foods that um that actually take a toll on someone's blood pressure that actually uh what you call this triggers triggers the tr triggers the spike in blood pressure and you need to know these foods especially if you're if you're my age okay i'm 45 so i need to i need to read articles like this so just to keep just to give me a heads up as to how how i should manage my health okay and well next up is um recently uh if you're a uh, if you're a rock fan like me uh if you're into pinoy rock okay i'm filipino so we have our own brand of rock and roll which is called pinoy rock one of the pioneers, one of the legends of Pinoy Rock just passed away uh, last week. His name is Pepe Smith. And I gave, and as a tribute to him, I actually posted, uh, I actually made a post on Instagram giving, paying, tribute, paying tribute to him, paying my last respects to him. He is a legend, okay? Despite his, uh, what you call this, um, is run ins with run ins with the law because of uh he was he was once accused of drug trafficking he got he, he got jailed for that but despite that his music will live on um especially to the younger generation now uh well uh flat out rest in peace rest in peace Pepe Smith okay and next okay this blog post of mine i did a i did another blog throwback this week it's called it, the title of the blog is uh title of the the old blog post is school week it was very well received on both instagram and facebook okay it had it had uh, it had much engagements and uh i'm hoping that uh well someone would comment on it okay well basically what i what i uh what i um uh, what I said in that blog post is I I I used to a lot okay I used to a lot a specific uh, week specific week in a month where I'm, I'm going to read uh read read every motivational book or listen to every motivational audio as often as I can I call it school week but uh, in but recently I recently I haven't I haven't been following on that because well. I got to, I got to take, take the slightest minute, okay, take the slightest minute in, uh, in reading, reading at least a book or listening to a, reading to a motivational audio or instructional audio, okay, I would share, to me, one minute of that is gold, okay, because, well, the best, the best, part, the best, uh, the best investment, the best investment vehicle you have is yourself, okay, it's cheap uh, it's cheap and it's sometimes free so you don't have to do you don't have to do research because you know you know what you need you know your own uh, intellectual needs okay you know what you you know what to need to what you need to learn to to grow your business or your brand okay so so enough of the blog throwback I'm going to uh, take this opportunity right now to promote my latest blog post of course every week i every week i put out a new post on my blog now my latest blog post um sort of a tribute to Napo to the great great napoleon hill okay um i basically uh let's call this illustrate on that post on how you should get how you should get smart with his legacy okay that's why the title is getting smart with napoleon hill's legacy think and grow rich isn't the only book napoleon hill wrote okay there is uh uh there's one there's a there's a uh there's one there's one of his books that i'm targeting to read right now it's called outwitting the devil okay uh i i mean this, did he write did he write that book okay uh, i gotta be i gotta be clear on that okay but it's classic 
is immortal classic is of course Think and Grow Rich. Okay, almost every motivational guru out there has read this book. Okay, and uh, we should too. We we should too because it lays the foundation for actually uh, an entire industry, the personal development industry, even here in the Philippines. Think and Grow Rich is a sought after book. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a link. Of the link of my latest blog post, of course, in the com in the comments. <laughs> Sorry, in the description below. And oh, as you may notice, this is a vertical video. Uh, I like to like to do a vertical video this time, and uh, because I'm because of my, in my la in the last four episodes, I'm kind of not sat last uh, four and a half episodes, which includes episode three point five. I'm sort of not satisfied with the with the horizontal thing because well, let's. It's a limited screen because and and the orientation is a bit down there, but the camera when when it, you put it in vertical view, the camera is right up here, right right there. Yeah. So what else? Oh, okay. Last but not least, product of the month. The product of the month is pathetic drunk roll. The product of the month is the Millionaire Booklet by Grant Cardone. Okay. Ever since I purchased a copy of the audiobook, um, wow, uh, it has opened, my brain has, my brain has been opened uh, to new doors of thinking about money, and I actually, I actually applied some of it, I actually apply, applied some uh, of his principles in the Millionaire Booklet on my, on my personal money management, okay, and it's, well, it's, uh, it's working, it's working somewhat. It's working wonders. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not actually working wonders for me right now. But it's. Uh, it's working. Right. It's working. And I strongly suggest you get a copy of that, whether it be audiobook, whether it be ebook, or the physical book. Okay. I got the audiobook because um, I got too much. I got. Uh, I'm sort of lagging behind on my books right here. <laughs> I'm sort of lagging behind, so I need. I need audiobooks right now. Okay. I prefer audiobooks right now because they're they're easy to absorb and I can listen to them anytime even when I'm even when I'm on a bus commuting I can slap on my earbud my earbuds listening to that so I'm going I'm going to leave I'm also going to leave a link of that where you can uh, you can go to the landing page on how to go you know, to the instructions on how to purchase that okay it's very easy it's very easy to purchase actually um if you live, uh, if you live outside of the U.S., I would strongly suggest getting either, uh, getting either the ebook or the audiobook. But if you're always on the go, get the audiobook. Okay, but if you live in the U.S., get the physical book. Because, uh, it's cheap. It's cheaper there because it's going to come also from the U.S. So for internet, so for international, so for for my international audience, I strongly suggest either the ebook or the audiobook. Okay. So, what else? Oh, I've already deleted some products from the Life Store because I'm uh, I've officially severed my ties with Amazon. Okay. For me, it's um, there's too many products to promote on Amazon. All right, there's too many. So I'd rather go direct to the authors or the creators of the creators of the product, like uh, of course Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone also sells uh, the Millionaire Booklet on Amazon, but the catch is uh, the shipping. Okay, international customers like me don't uh, what you call this don't uh, don't want to don't want to sh don't are are not willing to shoulder the shipping that much shipping. Okay, that's where that's where that's where Amazon will break your wallet. The shipping. Okay, and uh, very few, very few Filipinos uh, use actually use either Kindle or uh, what's called this Audible. So we're we're M we're MP3 people. Okay, we're basically into MP3. So I went to Grand Card went to Grand Cardone shop. I found the affiliate program there. I signed up. So I rather go direct. I'd rather go direct to the creators of the uh, of the con of uh, the content for sale. Right, I would rather do I would I rather do that because uh, it's a more what's called this 
they have a what what word is that they have a more um, what is more hands-on the customer service is more hands-on because you're dealing directly with the content creators whereas if you do it on Amazon and probably Clickbank it's not that um, it's not that personalized. It's not that personalized. So that's it. That's my report. That is my report for this week. That's for that's that's about it for random thoughts this week. And well, don't forget to sub hit subscribe and the bell so that you can be so you will be alerted for the next episode. Or if I release a time freedom post, you're going to be you're going to be the first to know. Right, I might do another time freedom post probably anytime this week. Actually, uh, I I do I do time freedom posts. I do my time freedom post when I'm out of the house. Okay, so basically that's it. <laughs> now, if I um, feel free feel free to comment about this video, and uh, I'm also. I'm going to invite all of you, of course, to check out my other videos. Check out the previous episodes of Random Thoughts. Okay, let me know. Let me know your thoughts about the, the of that particular episode by leaving comments. Okay, below this video. So that's it. <clears throat> that's it, guys. Bye. <laughs>